Hey, 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 good evening. Oh, let me turn that off. Say hello when you guys come in. Let me know where you're watching from. <clears throat> hey, Pat. Hey, Annette, how are you? All right, so I'm doing well, thank you. Plug that in so I don't lose power. All right, so Saturday night, thank you, Annette. Um, we made the um, Easter egg hunt kit. So tonight we're going to go ahead and make the bunny trail kit. So, hey, Sherry. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Mary Ellen. How are you? So I thought we would make this one tonight. <clears throat> so in this kit... You get the sign, the frame. Oh, yay, Cheryl. Good. Hey, Deborah. Um, pipe cleaners. You get these three ribbons. You get this. Hello, Kathy. This is um, 10 yards. You get 10 yards of the chevron and then five yards of the plaid. So, hello. I know. I'm so excited to make this one. I really like this one. Oh, and a thing of mesh. Hey, hey, hey. So I know I showed you guys how to make the frames before, but since it's a kit, I kind of wanted to um, make sure that you guys knew how to do that. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Darlene. So I take three pipe cleaners and I just cut them in half. Okay, because we're going to put those in and then we will start with our full pipe cleaners. And if you guys are new and haven't seen me do this before, this is just how I make mine. If you want to do them a different way, that's fine. Oh, yay, Pat, you got your wreath today. Hey, Jerry Lynn. <clears throat> so I take a full pipe cleaner. I just put a little dab of glue so it holds into place. Okay, so on the very inner one, we put the full one. And then on the third ring, whoops, of the same crossbar, we take a half pipe cleaner. I don't put ha um, ribbon streamers into the half pipe cleaners. It's just a preference that I have. But if you want to do that, you can use a full pipe cleaner here as well. So it's totally up to you. It's just kind of how you like to do it. So. so how was everyone's weekend? Were you guys doing well? Are you busy? Hello, Pat. Hey, Dorothy. Right, so we're just going to go around and keep doing the same thing on all of the sections here. So what we end up with is 12 full-size pipe cleaners and six half-size pipe cleaners. <clears throat> oh no, Darlene, because of the winds? Yeah. Oh yay, Melanie! Hey, Myrna! Yeah, we've had crazy winds today, and it's cold. It's cold. Yeah, very windy and cold. So, yeah, not good. In fact, I have my sweatshirt on, and my hands are still cold. So, whoops. <clears throat> oh, yay! Good! Yeah, I sent out um, some more kits today, and I think there's still four of this kit and three of each of the other kits. So there's still kits out there if you guys are interested. Thank you for sharing. Much, much appreciated. I know it is crazy. The weather is really crazy. It's, you know, 50 degrees one day and, you know, 20 degrees the next, snowing one day, ice, rain, all in the same thing. Yeah, our power flickered off today for a little bit. And then, oh no. Oh, no, your computer and your TV. Oh, that's terrible, Darlene. That's the worst. Hey, Ava, how are you? Oh, yeah, we have a um, vinyl fence, and I kept looking out there to see if it was still there because the wind was just crazy today. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah, that'll be a pain to deal with. You know, the insurance hassles and all that kind of stuff. Hey, Bev, how you doing? 
you know, because dealing with insurance is just not any fun. <laughs> oh, wasn't that hysterical, Carol? My sister posted that. I was laughing so hard. I was like ready to wet myself the way that husband was reacting. And then he kept sliding and getting hurt. And <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh, no, your tulip tree. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm ready for summer. Definitely ready for summer. But then that brings its own issues, you know, so. <clears throat> yeah, if you guys could share this, I would appreciate it. I'm trying to get to that 10,000. We're getting closer. We're inching closer. Oh, Marlene, when my sister, I was like, I was sitting up here just about to wet myself. I was laughing so hard. Ugh, yeah, Muriel, I hear you. It's, it's crazy. Um, no, I'm putting it on the third one, Paula. I'm putting the pipe cleaners on the very inner one. And then on, whoops, not on the outer one, but the third row. <clears throat> That's just, like I said, it's just how I kind of have, um, you know, decided to do it. But if you want to put them on the outer row, that's perfectly fine. It's totally up to you. Thank you, Johnny. Oh, wow, really? Blizzard now? Oh, I'm telling you. Yeah, after the winds and now blizzard, it's crazy. So just a couple more pipe cleaners to go here, and then our frame will be ready. <clears throat> so see, this really doesn't take that long. Oh, thanks, Johnny. Um, Katie from So Cute by Katie made my um, apron if you guys want anything like this thank you for sharing much appreciated yes yeah, she did a great job she, she made this and I got a shirt too I'm blurry is that what you meant to say Stephanie thanks Annette for sharing okay so last pipe cleaner here and then we are done with this that off and we are good to go yay Jeannie all right okay so we have a bunch of pipe cleaners left over hey Kathy so we have that ready and let me get this out of the way here yeah I'm I'm watching it on my phone and my computer to make sure and it's good here so it might just be your connection all right so let me get this out of the way <clears throat> All right, so get this out of the way. Yay, Mary! Hey, Billy, how are you? Move that out of the way. Okay, now, so what we're going to do is we're going to take 21 inch mesh again. We're going to do the poof method. And this is, um, oh, you can do it, Bev. You can do it. Um, 21 inch mesh. Let me know when you're going live, and I will be there to support you. Let me know, Bev. Okay. Oh. Um, this is 21-inch mesh. So, Oh, that was a, um, it's like a heat pad. I just actually ordered it because the other one I had was so small. It's, uh, here, let me put this in first, and then I'll show you. I'm doing great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm just going to put this in the first one here. So this is, um, I ordered it off of Amazon. It's from Fiskars. It's just like a heat mat. So um, like when the I do the hot glue and stuff that it, that it doesn't get on my table, that it goes on here. Because you can just, you know, pull it right off of there. But yeah, I wanted a bigger one. The other one I had wasn't big enough and it was driving me crazy. So... Okay, so hopefully it's not going to catch on my sweater. Oh no, four inches of water? Oh, that's terrible. 
All right, we're going to do 12 inch poofs, just like we did the other day. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's bad. Hey, Shirley, I'm doing well. Thank you. How are you? Yeah, just let us know. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Jerry Lynn. Hey, Linda. I'm doing well. So, again, we're just doing 21 inch poofs, or 21, 12 inch poofs with um, the 12, the 21 inch mesh. Hey, Brenda, I'm doing well. And we will probably go back and do that crisscross method that I showed you guys the other day as well. Hey, Susan. Oh, I'm telling you, I know. It, it's been rainy and windy and ugh. To practice. <laughs> you do get a good, yeah, you do. But you know what you can do too? If you're nervous about it, hey, Jana, how are you? Um, what I kind of did was I made a dummy Facebook page that's not published. And if I need to practice something, I will go on that page and practice it. Like, it's not a live, you know, page. No one can see it. Um, you know, so. What advice? Oh, my goodness. Um... Believe in yourself. You know, if, if this is a passion for you and you love doing it, just go for it. Don't, um, don't listen to the people that are like, you can't do this. Um, you know, that kind of thing. Because you can. And it's a lot of work. Um, don't get yourself in over your head. Just kind of, you know, start out slow. Um, the mesh roller came from Susie's recent things. I have an affiliate link I will post for you if you want to um, get one. So that's for um, Marlene. Do you have do you have a business page like a business Facebook page? What you do is you just go on and create. Um, I call a dummy page because you don't. Um, you don't, you know, publish it or anything, but you can kind of practice on it, so. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? They're going to charge you when it's that bad out? That's crazy. Um, the fluff box you can purchase from Regina on Probo the Hand, but you can also make your own. It's very easy to make. It's not hard at all. I just kind of found like a, a shadow box type thing that was 12 by 12 and then I found a lid for it and um, you know did that you're learning how how to do what with design from Scott okay so then we done we did the top row so then we're going to move to the bottom row and you don't want to pull it tight you just kind of want to it in there okay and then we're going to do 12 inch poofs again no problem in that <clears throat> it is very scary going live uh bev yeah i love damon i'm in his groups too but he does a lot of things that is over people's heads <laughs> I do have to say that, but he is a good teacher, but um, it's, you know, it is kind of, it's a lot. You have to be kind of willing to do your own thing. Yep, you can do a, I know I do. The fluff box will be, yes, the shipping, yeah, exactly, because it's so heavy on the fluff box, it will be very expensive. So you can make your own, you can make your own, um, Oh, no, you don't have to pay for it. See, don't boost. No, 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 Yeah, um, don't boost. Yeah. I don't pay for anything on Facebook. I don't, I don't do the ads. I don't do the boosting, all that kind of stuff. I just don't do it. You know? Hey, Dawn, how are you? I mean, you know, uh, 
I don't know. I just, I don't want to pay for it. So, hey, Colleen. But. Um, a fluff box is this over here. It, when you're fluffing out your bows. Hey, Rose. Um, it helps to hold the, um, the bow in place so that you can pull out your bow and fluff it out. So, yeah, it's a waste of money. Exactly. I, I don't think so either. Hey, Sandy, how are you? Now, the um, half pipe cleaners that I put on here, I'm just twisting those around my frame because those of you who have seen me before, I don't use those for my ribbon tails. Hey, Leah. Cole got off okay. Hey, PK, how are you? Leah's son went on her his first missions trip. Was it yesterday or today, I thought? Can't remember. Yeah, I don't boost it either. You get all the time, you know. Hey, Helene, you get all the, you know, time. Oh, I will give you a $15 credit to boost this post. No, I don't, I don't pay it. I don't pay it. I mean, you can if you want, but that's just my opinion. So, oh, good, Leah. So again, we're just doing 12-inch poofs. We went around the top, and now we're going around the bottom. I wasn't sure how or how many people see your page. Um, I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry, Dawn. <laughs> You're seeing pictures of him. Yeah, I um. Yeah, I don't boost it either. I mean, really, you just kind of have to. I mean, you have to work it. It's not easy. It's not for the faint of heart. You know, if you're just going to come on and, and, you know, not do lives and not really work your business, then it's not worth it. But you really, you have to work it. Oh, yay! Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just all of word of mouth. That's why, you know, you always ask people to share your page. Yes, exactly. Um, you know, because... The more people share it to their personal page, not their business page, then their friends are going to see it and hopefully, um, you know, they'll share it or they'll start, you know, to watch you or something like that. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me, Peggy. Yes, I'm doing, um, I'm doing the poops in all of the pipe cleaners, even the half pipe cleaners. I only put um, the mesh in the half pipe cleaners and then I don't use the um, pipe cleaners for anything else. Hey Judy, well thank you. Thank you for sharing. So I know you hear all the time when we're on, you know, please share, please share. It's really just to help us get our names out there and, and hopefully more people watching and that kind of stuff. So oh Chris, that's a you just got your power. I'm telling you, it's nasty out there. It sure is. Hey Janice, how are you? So it does help, you know, when everyone shares you know, and that kind of stuff, so. And like I said, this business is not an easy business. There's a lot of people doing it, and there's a lot of, you know, competition, but you know, everyone's work is different. Some people are going to like my work. Some people are going to like someone else's work, so it's really not about that, but if we support everyone, you know, it builds a stronger community, I think, so. <clears throat> and I do have a group that, you know, for learning how to make wreaths, but if you want to, you know, join my group, yes, exactly. Um, you know, you could always practice going live on there. And, um, oh, no, I know, I told my husband to put the trash, we have like a walkway between our house, and I said, put it in there because you know it's going to... Oh, you did, Darlene? That's awesome. $1.50 a roll? Wow. Oh, thank you, PK. I appreciate that. There's a lot of people out there I know you guys can watch, and I do appreciate your support. Okay, so we're back to the last one here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that half pipe cleaner up and stick it back into the bottom. And then I will close it up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the um, crisscross method. I showed you that the other day. And so I'm going to wrap this around, get this out of the way. Oh, 
Um, Dawn, it's really consistency. You know? Um, oh, thank you, Lynette. That's awesome, Dawn. So now this is, I did the front and I, or I did the top and I did the bottom. Oh, thank you. I know, Leah. We got to hang out. So, and it's a little thin. So then what I do is I go back and I do the crisscross method. So we're on the bottom row now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to the top row. I don't really do poofs per se. I just kind of overlap it. And then I don't open up the ties or anything. See? And then it just fills that gap in some. And then we're going to go to the bottom row. And I only use, hey, Diane, the full pipe cleaners for this, except for that very first one where we started. Oh, hey, Trixie. Well, I'm glad you found me again. Okay. Oh, really? Oh, well, you know what? Just tell them, Linda. Say, you're on your own. This is for me. Hey, Rosie, how are you? <laughs> Rosie, I don't know why that does not like you. Because you were getting them for a while, and now you're not getting them again. Oh, more snow. Look. I do not want snow anymore. I'm ready for summer. Yes, we have to all get together at Wreath Makers Live because I so want to meet you guys. Just tell them, hey, you want to go, that's fine, but I am, you're on your own, right, Dawn? Just tell them. Hey, <laughs> hey, Dawn. Oh, wow. Girl, you hit the jackpot, didn't you? No. Kat, Kathy, you could do it. You could do it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? I that's that drives me crazy, Kathy, but we won't go there. <laughs> yeah, it's not I mean I'm on here to make wreaths, not do all that kind of stuff, so Rose, that's crazy. Rosie, I don't know what. Well, I don't think we'll ever figure it out. Explain the yes, um, so cute by Katie. Dawn makes them. Oh, no problem. Yeah, it's so cute by Katie. She made this. Um, I can show you her card. I have it here. Nope, that's not it. And but I'll I'll let me see if I can show you guys. Can you see it? I don't know if it's blurry or not. It's kind of blurry. I'll type it up here. Uh, someone said that. <laughs> oh, they're going to do a husband's group? Oh, that's funny. Well, yeah, then that then they can, um, you know, stay out of your way. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm just doing what I call the crisscross method. After I do the poofs, um, if the like the mesh is thin or didn't fill in enough, what I then do is I um, start at the bottom and then I just pull it and kind of make a little, it's not really a poof, it's kind of just, I just take it and pull it. You know, I don't measure out a poof or anything like that. Um, and then I just take it from the top to the bottom, the bottom to the top, and it fills in if the mesh was kind of thin or if you can see through it or something like that. Because sometimes, unless you get a real, um, like, metallic mesh or real expensive mesh, it, you can see through it. And it's just, that's, that's mesh. Thank you. And we're to the end. Let me pull it off the roll here. Hey, Florence, how are you? Hey, Joanne. All right, take care, Leah. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, I agree with you guys. I am right there with you. I don't like that stuff either. So, <clears throat> okay. Hey, Linda. I will, Leah. Take care. All right, so, like, again, I just take it. Now I'm on the bottom row, so I'll take it to the to the top row, 
And I don't really, I don't measure poof or anything. I just kind of pull it, I don't want to pull it tight. Just kind of pull it so it creates a little bit of a filler in there. Oh, Annette makes aprons. Oh, I didn't know you made aprons, Annette. Okay, so we're almost done. All right, Dom, we'll see you in a little bit. Aw. Okay, so just a couple more here. Do you have a page, Annette, um, that you, like a Facebook page or anything for your aprons? Okay, so I think this is the last one. Yep, this is the last one, and then we are back at the beginning. Oh, you do? Oh, awesome. Do you have a business Facebook page or somewhere that people can contact you if they want an apron? Okay, so I'm going to cut that off. Well, I'm going to tuck it under first. Oh, Kathy makes t-shirts. Okay, so I brought it down through the mesh and to the back. And then what I do is I just take it and um, zip tie it to... I know, it's a cheery color, isn't it, Brenda? I like it too. So, Kathy, if I send you my logo, can you make a shirt with the logo on it? Okay, so then I cut that off, right, and then I, you want to take that and push it under, and then I'm going to cut this excess. All right, well, I am T-Shell. How are you? Um, this is my one kit that I'm selling. It is the Bunny Trail Kit. Hey, Tammy, how are you? Okay, and I'm just going to go around and pull the, um, you do, yes, you have to check with your state to see what you need to do in your state. Yep. First thing, oh, okay, Annette, will you, if you have a, yeah, Kathy's is a different canvas. Um, you can, you can use PayPal. You absolutely can, but then you have to invoice everyone, so you can absolutely do that. Okay, so here's the finished base, okay, and then this is the sign we're going to put on it. I love this sign. Isn't that cute? This is a 14 inch. Okay, so what I did was I cut two of my ribbons. Okay, we're going to use these two ribbons, and then I have a third one that I love this ribbon. Look how cute this is. I'm doing well, Timmy. Thank you. Okay, so what I'm going to do, cut that end off there. All right, so what I do now, I put it on my handy-dandy mesh roller here, and I'm doing 13 inches. The kits are $50 plus shipping. They're on my Etsy store. Um, I have a link at the top, I think. And I'm just going to cut 12 of these. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so I'm just going to cut that off. Okay, pull it out of my perfect tail there. And then I'm going to dovetail the ends. Yeah, it's pretty, it's just a basic mesh, but I just love the color of it, you know. So then we're going to um, cut the dovetails. The longest ribbons I use 
14 inches. I don't ever really go above 14 inches. Hey, there's Susie Brown, the inventor of the mesh roller. Um, these are Y12 pipe cleaners. Um, that's just a system I use. I, um, I know that the work rails come with um, 18. I just think that's a lot. Hey, Brenda, thank you for sharing. It, it, I think that, you know, I think it's overkill on the ribbon. Unless you want a ton of ribbon, but it's totally up to you. Okay, I want to make sure that these are all going the same way. Been a busy girl, Susie Brown. It would be. Yep, absolutely. Yep. Oh, no problem, Janie. Okay, so we have all of these cut now. And what I'm going to do is, now when you use something with a pattern like this, you kind of want to make sure, I don't know if it really matters for these, that they're all going the same way. So I have the um, three ribbons. You get 10 yards of this, 10 yards of the orange and white chevron, and then five yards of the plaid. Okay, so we are going to get our wreath base again. Ah, it's knocking stuff over. Okay, and we're going to do the chevron, the bunnies, and then the plaid. And I just fold it in half. Um, Patty, the 12 I have... Um, the scissors are Fiskars. So how I do my, um, I'll show you again. How I do my, it's just kind of a preference. Yeah, I did bang, Susie. Kind of, and now I'm getting hot. Oh, thank you. Um, you can rewatch, if you share this video to your page, you can rewatch how I did the the um, the wreath form. But what I do is I put a full pipe cleaner. Yep, I got it. Thank you. Full pipe cleaner here, a half pipe cleaner here, and a full pipe cleaner here. I only put the mesh in my half pipe cleaners. I don't put them in um, the half ones because I just think it's a lot of ribbon. And it's just kind of a preference that I have. So if you want to, you know, use all of them, a full pipe cleaner, you absolutely can do that. It's just a preference I have. Okay, so we have the chevron, the bunny, and then the plaid. And, you know, there's a lot of ribbon that comes with this kit, so you will have plenty of um, ribbon left over if you want to make bows or, you know, use it for something else. Okay. Now I'm starting to sweat with this light on. Let me take my sweater off now. Sorry, guys. No problem, Patty. Yeah, thank you, Trixie. I do, too. I like, I just like the way they come out. Um, they're not as, I think they're still full. Um, they're not as thick this way, so you can kind of get them um, between a screen door easier. So... I just like to do it that way. Okay, I'm using the same ribbon, okay? But what I'm doing is this one, I'm pulling the chevron out first, and then the plaid, and then the bunnies. This one, I'm just pulling the bunnies out first. So it gives it a little bit of a different look. So this next one, I'll pull the chevrons out. And again, you just take them and fold them in half. Okay. Oh, thank you, Annette. Yeah, this is the, um, the bunny trail kit. So I think there's four of these kits left. Okay, so now this one, we'll pull the chevron out first. And then the bunnies. <clears throat> And it just, you know, gives it a little different look. Okay, you see how close together these ribbons are up here? If you used the half ones on the bottom, they would be closer than that. 
and I think you just kind of, to be honest, waste your ribbon because you can't see a lot of it. So that's why I don't use, hey Carol, why I don't use the, um, you know, the full pipe cleaners on all of them. But you can absolutely do it if that's what you want to do. It's totally up to you. Yep, they're on my, um, I think I posted it in the comments and, oops, I did that wrong, in the comments and, and then in the description as well. Okay. Okay. So you guys have any big plans for this week besides dealing with the stinking weather that we have going on? I'm watching my grandson again tomorrow. My one grandson has a field trip tomorrow and he wants his mom to go. So he called me. Can you watch Owie so mommy can go with me? So, you know, of course you can't turn that down. Hey, Nana, how are you? Thank you. Yeah, I really like how these kits are turning out. I really enjoy doing them. And, you know, for people that maybe don't want to necessarily sell them, or if you want to sell them, you know, it's kind of, um, yeah, it does, doesn't it, Peggy? Hey, Clara, no biggie. It helps people learn, like, you know, what you can put together. Because would you have put this plaid in there necessarily? You know, you kind of have to get out of your comfort zone and try, you know, different ways of doing things. And, you know, we all have a comfort zone we like to live in and don't want to try different things or, you know, put a plaid with a chevron or whatever. But it works. Okay, so we have them all around the top now. Hey, Barbara. So now we're going to do the same thing around the bottom row. And again, we're only going to put them in the full pipe cleaners. The half pipe cleaners, remember we... Um... Oh, you have your Owen tomorrow too? Aw. Yeah. Owens are fun, aren't they, Mary? Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, so I'll have my OE tomorrow morning. Oh, nice, Susie. That's good. That'll be fun. Yeah, you need to definitely need to do that family time, Susie. Because, you know, I can't believe they grow up so fast. My oldest grandson is going to be 10 already in June, I think. How in the world did that happen? How did those 10 years go by so fast? Because they do. They just fly by. So you, those of you who are um, grandparents, what do your um, grandchildren call you? They call, my grandkids call me Grammy. So I always love to hear the different things that... Um, other, you know, kids call their grandparents. So what do you got? What does, what does, you, what's your name? What do they call you? Oh, that's funny. Gammy. Okay. That's cute. Mama. Oh, Nana. See, I love all the different names. Mama. Nanny. KK. Oh, I like that. KK. That's cute. My tens call me G, okay? Grandma, Gamma, GMA. Oh, that's cute. See, isn't it fun? All the different names that people, Gram T. Oh, that's cute. Nana, Nene. Oh, I like that. Gr Gammy and Pop Up. Yeah, we're Grammy and um, Grammy and Poppy. We're Grammy and Pop Up. Grandma. Oh. Grandma, call you G. They call you Kathy. Yeah, I love to hear the different names. My mom. 
Gma, oh, that's cute. Mama, Granny. Uh, who was I talking to? I was talking to someone. Granny Cat. Oh, that's funny. Mima, that's popular down the south. Are you from the south? Call her Ga. Mima, uh huh. Oh, I'm trying to think of what I'm doing here. Mama. KK and Papa. Yeah, my, um, it was funny because when my, um, my daughter had her kids first and, you know, I call, I was called my grandmother, grandma. And, um, you know, Talon just kind of named me Grammy. I mean that he just started naming me. And, um, when my, I know there are, when my son, his wife got pregnant you know, I was asking his uh, mother-in-law, you know, what she was going to be called. And she was like, well, I want it to be called Grammy. Oh, that's sweet, honey. That's nice. Gammy. Uh-huh. Me, mommy. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. So, and I was like, well, you can be called, you know, Grammy also. It doesn't matter to me. But they ended up calling her Gamama. They call her G-A-M-O-M-M-A, -M -M -A, which I think is a really cute name. So she's Gamama, and her husband is, no, I forget what they call him, but they call my husband Papa, which is what I always called mine. Hey, Sandra, how are you? Okay, so you see how on the bottom row, there's a little bit of open mesh here, okay? If you used that pipe cleaner right there, they would really like be on top of each other. So that's why I kind of, I don't know, I like to, oh, I think I didn't cut enough. Leave that open a little bit. Other mother, <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, I know down south, they, a lot of it's uh, Mima, uh, Mima, and so, stuff like that, but yeah. I know. Isn't it great? I love to hear the different names the kids have for it. All right. So just about done. My grandma's Rubaba. Oh, I like that. My, um, I had a friend. Oh, awesome. Jana. Oh, good. I'm glad you guys like your ribbon. I love that ribbon. We need to cut one more here. Uh, I guess I was slacking when I was cutting here. <clears throat> they call you Ma. Okay. Last one here. Like I said, I think it's fun that, you know, the different names that people call. Oh, so anyway, I was telling you. So I was talking to someone, and they were saying that um, they have a friend who she feeds their, her grandkids junk food all the time. So they call her, her junk food Grammy. <laughs> the bunny in. I don't know how to put the bunny in. Um, it just depends where you are, Kathy, for shipping. Because every, you know, every place is different. It just depends how far away you are. Oh, yeah, my grandmother was more like a mom to me than my grandmother. I mean, I, she was the best. Oh, so I had a friend from Germany. She was actually from Germany, and um, they called her Om Omi, you know, the German word for grandmother. So. All right, so that's all the ribbon streamers, right? So then we are going to put on the tail or the tubing. Okay, and we just have the green tubing for this. So I'm going to cut it to about 30 inches. And if you cut it 30 inches, you should get, you know, 12 pieces out. Oh, good. Yay. Yeah, I'm glad you guys got your ribbon. I sent it out. When did I send it out? Last Wednesday. So it should all be getting there. I 
like to use tubing. So, I don't know. I think I'm just partial to tubing. <laughs> I just think it adds a nice texture to it. Um, yeah, it's on my website. Yep, I was selling a bunch of, I still have a bunch of the linens in, um, all these colors back here. I don't know if you can see all of them, but I do still have those in. I had a bunch of other ribbon, but I sold all of that. Yep, but it's on my Etsy, in my Etsy shop. I sell some ribbon, I sell some signs, I sell the kits, um, you know, just diversifying, getting out there. The more you're out there, the better. Okay, so. So then we're going to put one in each of the streamer, or in each of the streamers. And all I do is I just take it, I fold it in half, and then in half again. So it's like a little bow like that. And then I put it into the... Um, streamers there. Hello Carla, how are you? Alright, so then it just kind of looks like that, adds a little layer to it, and then I just take the, um, the pipe cleaners and I curl them up. I don't cut them off, you can definitely cut them off if that's your preference. I just leave them on and just curl them up. Oh yay Sharon! Yeah, I, I, I um, shipped it all out last, I think it was last Wednesday, because we were supposed to get a storm, or maybe it was Tuesday. I don't even know anymore. Um, you know, I try, to, when I, I try to get it out as quick as I can. So again, just fold it in half and in half again. <laughs> I know, right, Carla? I'm doing well, thanks. I know, as you all can tell from my room, I love ribbon. My neighbor calls me a ribbon whore. <laughs> I'm like, yep, yeah, uh, yeah, pretty much. Oh, thanks, T-Shell. Yeah, it's a, I mean, you can cut them off, but it just adds another layer to it. Yep, absolutely, Stephanie. Thank you, Tammy. Yeah, it just adds that, you know, Another little kind of decorative touch, I think. So, I know, right, Carla? Ugh. You know, but you never have that just right ribbon. Am I, you know, am I the only one? You gotta have more ribbon. I know, isn't it great? Don't you love it? I do. I love this room. So like I said, I have four of these kits left, but if you're not into the kits and want to buy this finished one, you, I, it will be in my Etsy shop later also. Thanks, Marlene. Thanks, Joanne. Yeah, I really love that plaid with it because it really has all of the colors. Um, that are in you know all the other ribbons and in the sign so yep exactly patricia thanks joanne <clears throat> okay so you see how not putting mesh in that stream in that one kind of gives you, it kind of lets you see a little bit of the mesh. Now, if you don't like that look, then you are more than welcome to, you know, put them in all of them. It's just a preference I have, so. Did I do that one? Yeah, okay. Thank you. Hey, 
Colleen, how are you? The tubing I cut about 30 inches. And if you cut it 30 inches, you should get 12 pieces. And that's enough to do every, um, every full pipe cleaner. Thank you. Yeah, it just, you know, I know some people cut them off. Like, uh, you know. Oh, I do. I do to shell. Yes, I do make burlap wreaths. Yep, I made, um, in my group, we did a burlap carrot, which I have sold five of those. I have two more to make. Um, someone ordered three of those burlap carrots, so I have to make two more of those. Just about done with this. One or two more here. Okay. One more, and then we are done. Okay. And we'll put the sign on, and then if we want to make a um, Hello, Juanita from Colorado. Welcome. The ribbons I cut to 13 inches, Mary Ellen. Okay. Yep, 13 inches. All right. So that's what it looks like. Okay. And then, like I said, you can see that if we if we put streamers in there, it would also. Um, yeah, that's right. We did. We made a heart. We made a burlap heart. Uh, Mary is in my group, so see how that kind of just lets a little more of the mesh come through. Like I said, that's just a preference that I have. Okay, so we can put that in the middle. We can put it on the bottom. We can put it on the side. I think I'm going to put this one in the middle. And then, um, like I said, if you guys, we can make a bow with it. Or we can just leave it like this. Right, I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to take... Where did I put this pipe cleaner? Is that here there? So you have enough um, pipe cleaners also. I'm just going to run the pipe cleaner through here. Okay. That'll be up there. And then what I will do is I will take... Where's my metal hole punch? My metal hole punch <laughs> and I'm going to put it I'll just hide it under these feet okay so I'm going to punch one there this is a 14 inch frame Juanita yep it's just a 14 inch okay and one under there I think I shipped yours out today Mary Ellen Okay, so then um, we'll put that through there. Yep, years went out today. So all the orders shipped out, so you should be getting it. Okay, so I just tucked that under the rabbit's foot. I knew what you were saying, Marion. <laughs> okay, and you hid that underneath there. Yeah, so if you save this video, if you share the video, um, it will be on your page. So when you get your wreath and want to make it, you can watch the replay. Okay, so and these little feet are kind of on little wires. So you can pull them out. And then also the whiskers, you can kind of separate them, make them stand out to, you know, whatever you want to do. Hey, Carolyn, how are you? Oh, you didn't get an alert. You know, sometimes I... <laughs> Eight mini chat. I don't know why, but you have to make sure if you if you type in live, thank you for sharing, that um, you answer the questions or you tell you do exactly what the bot tells you to do 
because otherwise you will not be subscribed to my um, alerts. And if you want information about the group, that is on there also. Okay, and then you can bend the ears up as well. Hey, Marianne, how are you? Okay, and we'll tuck these under. Tuck that one under. And then I do try to find the crossbars if I can, because what that does, it will um, stop the sign from kind of moving back and forth. Oh, Renee, you can always go back. If you share the um, video to your page, you can always go back and watch the replay. Yeah, it's, I don't know, they, they change stuff. Facebook changes stuff all the time. And sometimes it just messes everything up, so I don't know. Yeah, the sign I'm um, I got at a wholesale place, and I'm selling them as a kit in my shop. Okay, so that's what she looks like. And what do you guys think? Should we add a bow or no? We'll leave it as is. Yes. Yep. You can. Yep. Kathy, if you want one, let me know which one you want, and I'll just, I'll invoice you through PayPal if you want, if you don't want to do it on Etsy. Yep. And I'm having someone um, work on a website for me, so I'm hoping that that's up and running soon, so I can do everything through my, all right, bow or no bow? What do you guys think? Bow? Bow, bow, okay. Leave as is. We can always make a bow, and if we don't want to put it on, we don't have to. All right, so, but isn't it adorable? I love the colors in this. I love the orange and the green. Um, well, hello from Manchester, UK. Okay, Kathy. All right. So, what we're going to do is we will get our little thing out here and we're going to put our pegs in okay so i'm going to turn it this way i know isn't it adorable i love it I will. That's hard to find, that big dot ribbon. It really is. Okay. So, what did I do with my ribbon? Oh, okay. Here it is. Oh, what did I do with my chevron? What did I do with my chevron ribbon? Oh, dear. What did I do with my chevron ribbon? Oh, I stuck it down here. Okay. Sorry about that. I know. I I cannot lie. I love ribbon. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, Kathy, I have... This one is the new one from Regina, which is a kind of a multi-tool. I have the Easy Bow Maker. I have the Pro Bow. And I have the... Um, what's the other one? Yeah, I like this. I actually like this one. So, all right, we're going to do nine inch tails. This one I think is only um, $14.95 or something. Hey, Sandy, no worries. You have your four. Oh, that's right. You have them for the whole week, don't you? Oh, no, your sewing machine broke. That's not good. All right, so I'm going to do five inch. Hey, Janet. Five inch um, loops. Okay. Tuck that in there. I'm going to move this up here. You can't keep up with me. <laughs> sure, you can, Kathy. 
All right, Sandy, you're going to be worn out. You tried to order one and it wouldn't go through? I wonder what the problem was on my, um, hey, Stephen, I was just thinking about you today. Um, hmm. I don't know what the issue could be. You went through my Etsy site? How are you feeling, Stephen? Well, if you can't, let me know and I will, um, I'll send you the link again. No, this I got from Probo, the, her um, website, Probo the Hand. That's weird. That's going to drive me crazy now. Let me see here. Oh, uh, okay. Whoops. All right. Here is the link to this kit if you want this exact kit. If not, you can just um, try that. I'm doing well, Stephen. The question is, how are you? Okay, so I think we'll do one more loop here. Does this come with instructions or the kit? Um, if you're talking about the kit, that's why I do the live, so you can watch me step by step so that you know exactly how to do it. I know, isn't it cute? I ordered this, I think, from Sims Pottery. I love this ribbon. Hello, Rose from North Carolina. All right, so we're going to do three loops there. Oh, um, no, I don't think it does come with, I think she, um, probably has a video on it on how to do it, but I'm going to a new doctor, oh, from New York, oh, you poor thing, hey, Kathy, all right, so we have three of the bunny ribbon, and now we're going to do Oh, definitely, Kathy, let me know. Definitely. <clears throat> okay. So then we're going to, let me pull this tail up here. So I'm going to put a tail here, a tail here. And I'm going to dovetail. Oh, you haven't? I, I really like this, Carla. I do. Okay, so we're going to do this. I'm going to put this tail up. Yeah, I thought she did. She did a video on how to use this and the different uses for it. All right, so this we're going to do five inches as well. And we're just going to do two loops with this. <laughs> Kathy, all right. So we're going to do two loops on each side here. Yeah, it is good for, um, to use like an easy bow maker. It's good to use to hold your ribbon. And she has a couple different uses. So, thank you. Yeah, so this kit comes with 10 yards of the bunny, 10 yards of the chevron, and 5 yards of the plaid. Oh, yeah, it, it's really, it's easy to use, I think. All right, and then we're going to cut this off. Okay, so that's the chevron. Okay, so we have three loops for the bunny. Hey, Dahlia, how are you? Okay, and we have two loops for the chevron. And then we're going to do one loop with the plaid. Hey Nancy, how are you? Thanks Carla. Out of the way. And what I love about the new dowels for the mesh holder, it holds all my um, 50 yard rolls. Uh, you know, Stephen, I was wondering, I really, I've been thinking about you so much lately and I was like, poor Stephen, I wonder how he's doing. 
Okay, so again, we're going to put one tail up, one tail down. We're going to do about four inches on this. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I want that middle loop in um, the center here. It, you're right, Stephanie, it has been. That's very true. So to do that little center loop that you have, oh, no problem, Carolyn. You kind of want to do about, I don't know, two, two inches, two, three inches. Just that's it. And then you're going to cut your ribbon off. This, um, you had to retire. Oh, Stephen. Yeah, you probably have to get disability, don't you? I would think with the problems you're having. All right, so. Oh, excuse me, my eyes itchy. Um, I'm sure. So this has a lot of different uses. You can put 50-yard rolls on it. You can make a bow on it like the Easy Bow Maker. You can use it to hold your um, th the mesh holder, Sabrina. Or I'm sorry, Sabina. The mesh holder you can get from Susie's Wreaths and Things. And here is my affiliate link for that so you just go on there and you will I love my mesh roller all right so we're going to pull it off we're not going to tighten this all the way yet okay so I'll show you more uses for that when I'm done so then you just take your um, zip tie and push it to the back okay now before you tighten it all the way you want to get your tails and your um, loops where you want them okay kind of have to maneuver it around I'm going to take and put a zip tie underneath here before I zip it tight also because that's how I'm going to attach it to my wreath okay just going to kind of puff that out there a rainbow bow sure with just like all different color solids Yeah, just let me know like what colors, if you, there's particular colors that you want me to make, Stephen. Absolutely. Okay. I will do that for you, Stephen. Okay. So, it's kind of pretty much how I want it. I'll fluff it out a little more. I'm going to tighten this up really tight. And then, what did I do with my... Oh, there. Yeah. Take my cutter here, cut that off, and then you see that little bow we did, that little button, that's the kind of the button loop there. You kind of move it right over there. Absolutely, Stephen. Would love to do that for you. Okay. And then I will get my wreath again. And we can put it, I think, on the top. It might cover up the bunny. So I think what we'll do is we will put the bow down here. What do you guys think? Down the bottom like that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed this zip tie kind of through the mesh. <clears throat> Hey, Denise from Delaware, how are you? I'm going to find it on the other end there. I'm going to wrap it around the frame so it comes back out the other end. Okay, and then get that zip tie going. Get that pulled nice and tight. I don't want to pull it too tight so it sinks into the wreath too much. All right, so then, okay, then we will fluff everything out here. Get the bow the way we want it. We don't want it to hide the sign. 
Okay, and then I'm going to trim off these tails a little shorter. Okay. And you can always roll the tails up if you think they're too long. I know, right, Kathy? Sometimes I'm visual, so sometimes I just really have to see it, you know? So, whoop, where'd my other loop go? There it is. Okay. Get that out of the way. Hey, Carla, how are you? Cut that maybe a little shorter. Get my loops going here. That still needs to be shorter yet. Okay. Alrighty. You see how that center loop that I did makes that little loop there kind of cover up that um, zip tie. Right, and then you can either you know, fluff this a little more so it doesn't hide all that, or I can move the sign up a little bit so it doesn't um, fall down too much. Thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate that. I'm just going to tighten this up a little bit so that we slide the sign up a little bit so it doesn't um, sink down as much. Okay, get that where I want it. That looks good. And again, I'm wrapping it around that center. Yeah, that's true, Kathy. That's true. Wrap it around that um, crossbar so that your sign doesn't move back and forth. Okay, and then I'm going to cut this zip tie off and tuck that under. I'm just going to take that piece right there and tuck it under so that it doesn't scratch someone's door. Okay, whoops. All right, so that is this kit. And I think it turned out so adorable. Okay. There you go, your little bunny trail. So this is one kit. Um, this is the other kit we made the other night with the Easter egg. Okay. So this shop, this is the egg hunt one, and this is the bunny trail one. Hung up. All right. Oh, so let me show you. Hang out there. So I think with, um, thank you, with this, there's some different uses for it. So this is the original um, Easy Bow, okay? It just has the spool there, and these two here, you make the bow. Basically, you can only use it as a bow maker. But with Regina's, you can use it as the Easy Bow, or you can make it so that it holds... I think this will hold like three rolls of um, 50 yard ribbon because you know it's hard to find things that will hold your rolls of 50 yard ribbon okay and then one will go here but you, you know you can move this over too right so that'll hold the three rolls oh yeah you got it today Linda awesome so it'll do that and then also if you like get your mesh and you want something to hold it you can put the two like that and put it in there to hold it and you, it has three spots for that so if you you're making curls or your um, ruffles and you don't want to hold them you can put them in there so oh she also uses it to um, like if you want to cut your ribbon like this is zero if you want to cut it 10 inches your ribbon tails you just kind of wrap it around. Now, I'm not good at wrapping around like that. I just can't do it. I'm not that coordinated. <laughs> but it has a couple different uses, which I kind of like it. So, 
but I do. I like it. It's heavier, um, so it, it kind of holds down a lot easier, too, I think. But, you know, what are you going to do? Yes, you'll have to watch it. I know. I'm excited. So once you guys get your kits, make sure that you um, post a picture of it on here so I can see your kits. I really want to see it. So don't forget to um, share this if you would. If you want to receive live alerts, type in live. Just make sure you follow directions on the bot because if you don't follow through with it, um, it won't. you won't get subscribed and you won't get my alerts. So thank you guys for watching. I'm excited. It turned out great. Like I said, the kits are available in my shop. Um, oh, thanks, Stephen. Um, but if you don't want to make the kit and want the finished products, um, I will post those in my shop. So let me know. Thank you guys so much. And Stephen, I will work on that. Um, you have to let me know what size you want and all that. So, all right, guys, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and God bless you. And Stephen, I hope you're feeling better. And take care. Bye.